Okay, this is the third edition to the COA study guide. I just finished it and I wanted to go through it so that you can see uh, some of the changes that I made. So the main thing I wanted to do was make it a little bit clearer and I wanted uh, to make it look clean and add some exercises in the chapters uh, so you can review a little bit more as you're reading. I'm just going to click right here and go to the first chapter. Uh, right here you can see I've kept the concept checklist. I thought that was really important. It just helps you know what you need to get out of out of each chapter. Okay. And I also have these uh, words that are grayed out. These are links to other sections here. So if you click on these you'll go to another section. Also I'm using the uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader and if you're using that you'll have these little bookmarks here and each section is bookmarked out. It's just a quick way to get to each section. Let's see, so I'm just going to go through this section and point out some things that would be different. Okay, so these memorization tricks are in single blue boxes now. And uh, here's, here's an example, here's the first exercise. These exercises uh, are just questions, uh, little problems uh, to, to just review what was covered in you know, a previous section here and the answers are found here in the footnote and uh, here's a double box here the double boxes are uh, non-memorization trick things like uh, important processes just uh, little things that you should probably memorize for the test here's an example examples are different from exercises uh, they have a question and they have the answer right below it uh, it's just to, to kind of get your, your uh, mind thinking about what's going on before, before you work on a little exercise here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Those are the new things here. And I just wanted to show you the, the practice test is pretty much the same. I just added a couple questions, uh, maybe, maybe five questions. So it's, uh, it's really not too different from previous versions. And... I've also made an effort to fix any uh, spelling errors or typos. I've gotten a couple couple uh, emails on that. So, uh, and you know, if you see any kind of a spelling error, please email me, and I do actually read those emails and I, I fix it for uh, uh, for later editions. And I really do appreciate that. So, uh, that's it for the third edition, and I hope it's it's useful for you. And good luck on the COA exam.